For this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to read, style, and sort features, as well as output map elements as individual layers into a PDF file. Our final cartographic output will be a map that includes a map title, a signature block, background color imagery, a bounding box, colored polygons representing voting divisions, colored point features representing voting places, and labels for voting places. Step 1 is used to add mapping data into our workspace. Place features for GML voting divisions, which are a polygon feature type, for GML voting places, a point feature type, and for a JPEG 2000 reader, which is used to supply raster background imagery. We're interested in mapping only the advanced polling stations on our map. So let's use a tester transformer with the voting places to test where division equals ADVA or ADVE, denoting advanced polling stations. We will set our pass criteria so that it directs output to a label point replacer to create the labels and to an attribute creator transformer to maintain the underlying point geometry. All other data that fails our test criteria will be discarded. We will use a bounding box accumulator to create a bounding box by branching off from the JPEG reader. The title and signature will be generated by using two creator transformers and our text geometry objects. Remember to set the height geometry parameter. In this case, we will set it to 10. Step 2 places a series of attribute creator transformers onto our canvas. Attribute creator transformers will be used to assign the drawing order for each feature type, to rename several of the output layers, and to modify the size parameter of our point features. Let's create a new attribute called underscore order. That will define how feature types will be drawn. Lower values such as 0, will be drawn first, or on the bottom layer, and larger values, such as 5, will be drawn last, on the topmost layer. Feature type names will also be changed to better reflect their source datasets using the FME underscore feature underscore type attribute. Modifying the name in this attribute will change the name so that it will be displayed as a layer in the PDF file. Finally, by creating a new attribute called PDF point width and changing its values in the attribute creator transformer, we will be able to modify the size of the point features being written. Step 3 uses PDF styler transformers to set the cartographic appearance for our mapping features. PDF stylers can change the appearance of geometry, such as color, opacity, and line styles, as well as the appearance of text features, such as font size and font style. Features must be sent to the PDF writer in the order of how they will be drawn. As each layer is output, it will be drawn in a corresponding PDF layer from bottom to top. Step 4 uses the sorter transformer to sort features in an ascending order by using the underscore order attribute values assigned in step 2. The result is that the background map is placed on the bottom and the advanced voting labels are placed on the top of our map. Step 5 makes use of the PDF page formatter to set up the page layout appearance. The PDF page formatter is a graphical interface that's useful for setting the page size, page frames, and drawing objects in PDF. The order of the frames can be changed by right-clicking on the input port and choosing to move up or move down. Three frames are used in the PDF page formatter. The frames are Signature, Title, and Main. Signature and Title receive the output from the Creator Transformers. 
while main receives the output from the sorter transformer and contains all of our mapping information. Take note that all mapping information with overlapping features must be placed in the same frame, in our case, main, or the scale and map extents will not match. The final step is to write all the features to individual layers by using a fanout. This is done by renaming the PDF writer layer name to FME underscore feature underscore type. This will allow each individual feature layer to be turned on or off in the PDF document as required.